It's eight o'clock in the morning and Lord knows I still need more sleep. But I'm up just in time to pre-order the new Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4 to the studio. Welcome to a day in my life with the M2 MacBook Air. So I just finished taking a shower and getting ready to start my day. Now for the past few days, I have been home recording and shooting videos for myself and my YouTube channel, as well as getting ready for the new semester as an MBA student. But today I want to do something different and go out and have a little fresh air and get some work done. And also in my favorite coffee shop and because I haven't had coffee in a very long time, so this might be the right kick to start my day. But before we do that, let's talk about the M2 MacBook Air for a second and just talk about the specs that's within this very, very beautiful laptop. Now, I have been using this for the past three weeks and I currently have the base model and that is 256 gig and eight gigs of unified memory in Space Gray. Now, honestly, it has worked well enough for me in the past couple of weeks as my daily computer and I use it to edit in Final Cut and Adobe Lightroom for my pictures and thumbnails as well as passive tasks like watching movies, FaceTiming and whatnot. Now there have been talks of a slower SSD speed so if you want to upgrade to say the 512 gig you can do that to avoid the slow SSD speed but it'll cost you a lot more. Anyway I'm gonna head out to the coffee shop right now to finish up work and once that's done let's just see how the day goes. You just never know what can happen in your whole day. Welcome to my favorite coffee spot in Hamilton called Relay. It has very good ambiance to get work done, cool art, merch, and probably the best coffee around. But today I decided to go for something different because the weather was pretty hot. So I got a watermelon iced tea to start my morning. Now when all that is said and done, I have to prep for an upcoming meeting with my friend Diola Marco. She is a content designer based in Ireland and we're discussing different content strategies for the channel and a potential client. I brought along with me my Pixel Buds Pro as the battery life and the microphone are one of its best features. I also tested out the upgraded camera on the M2 MacBook Air and it's not so bad at all. They didn't really need to upgrade it so this is a nice to have. Now my call with Diola lasted for about an hour or two going over our ideas and what is best for the client. I also went over my class schedule with her to make sure nothing is clashing in the nearest future. Typing on the M2 MacBook Air is pretty satisfying. It is similar to the M1, but keys here are a lot different and more prominent. It has two Thunderbolt 3 ports with MagSafe. It does not have a memory card reader, so you have to get an extra dongle if you want to transfer files seamlessly. Now overall, the design is pretty good. The square design is a welcome addition to Apple's current design language. Now on my way out, I noticed a woman had the M2 MacBook Air and I decided to ask her a few questions on if it's worth it. The Mac OS system, okay. so given that like this is kind of like the entry level of like Mac versus like the MacBook Pro right. which is more expensive, I feel like if you're like dedicated to like the Mac OS system I think it's perfect. I think if you're like willing to like not go Mac OS, I'm just like there's so many other options for like PCs but like I personally wanted a MacBook so like I feel like this is the best. What is up? <laughs> All right, so um, I'm at Maple View. Um, I just finished work, just left the coffee shop. I'm at Maple View. Uh, my brother's wedding is coming up next week. So, is it next week? Next month. Thank you. Next month. So, I'm coming here to shop for a suit. Uh, and it's an Italian wedding. Um, I just want to see what they have at Zara, preferably um hope my friend told me they have a really, really good suit so i'm gonna check that out and after i'm gonna go for dinner at this restaurant called earl's um it's one of my favorite places to go for dinner in hamilton burlington and on toronto uh so let's see the suits they have at zara and if they don't i'll just probably order it somewhere else let's go
full. After having a late dinner, I decided to check out the Galaxy Z Fold 4 and the Flip 4. It is arriving to the studio on the 26th, so I decided to see if there is any real change between this and the older model. Now the hinge on the Flip 4 is not exactly the best thing and I noticed a lot of people aren't talking about it or how visible it is. I've not seen anybody talk about this. The hinge is so terrible. <laughs> But by the time I got home, it was pretty late and I needed to relax and distress. So I just got home and it's currently 8 p.m. and I'm pretty exhausted. But the M2 MacBook Air came through for me as the day went by. So I currently have about 70% battery left, which is pretty good for a whole day of use. Now in terms for who this is for, it is kind of hard to say. The base model of the M2 is currently $1199 and that puts it in a weird position because a brand new M1 MacBook Air is $999 and a refurbished model costs $849. And a lot of people that get MacBook Airs in the first place get it because it is definitely the cheaper option than the, than the Pro versions. Now it is a dilemma really but from a practical standpoint, the M1 MacBook Air at $849 refurbished gets you almost the same performance, same battery life, same design for $400 cheaper. I mean, or you can get the M2 MacBook Air and you get the MagSafe charger, you get the display, you get the slightly better performance. But is that enough for some people? Maybe. But if you're a student on a budget starting out as a content creator, then the M2 MacBook Air provides better value for you. Thank you for watching another day in my life video. Now, if you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to see more. Now, I'm going to go play my PlayStation 5 and Apex Legends. So I will see you guys in the next one where I talk all things tech.